So what if I told you that there was a place where you could go, where you could do anything at all without having to worry about the consequences, where you could buy all of the things that you've always dreamed of and do all of the things that you've always wanted to do? Well, this place does exist and you can go there and I am going to show you how. Uh, all that you need to do is go to your EVE launcher and click in the top left hand corner here for the servers list and select the singularity test server. Uh, so we'll bring that up here. And what we want to do now is we want to launch our account. Now your account may not be added here, so you might need to log into your account. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and hit play to launch the singularity test server. And here it is. This is the best kept secret in EVE Online that is actually public knowledge. Uh, now this should look pretty familiar to you. This is exactly what you would see if you are trying to log into game normally, uh, except here we are on the test server uh, where everything is pretty well free. So everything should be on the markets for 100 ISK. Uh, that's all Tech 1 and Tech 2 modules, all Tech 1 and Tech 2 ships uh, and pirate ships as well, actually. Um, the only thing that you're not going to get is officer modules, uh, faction and dead space modules. Those you will have to go to a trade hub for. Uh, but let's get logged in to our character here uh, and have a look at things, uh, some of the things that we can do with the test server. Uh, it really, it really does surprise me how many people don't know about the test server. Like so many players who I play with who, you know, some of them have played this game longer than I have, even maybe been around since like the start of EVE. And you say, oh, let's jump on the test server and, you know, test that out. And they're like, the test server? How do I do that? You know, it's super, super easy, super, super easy. Uh, it's actually gotten a lot easier recently. I think maybe in the past uh, when it was slightly more complicated to access, people uh, were maybe, you know, not so aware of it. Um, yeah, but here we are. Uh, let me show you a few of the common things that we can do here uh, that are going to make things pretty easy for you to sort of... Uh, get around and test things out on the test server here. Uh, so in any chat window, we can go and type a bunch of commands. Now I will leave a link in the description of this video to all of the commands uh, that you can use here on the test server. Uh, but some of the popular ones are move me. So if we type slash move me uh, and press enter, then we will get a list of systems here uh, where we can jump to pretty much immediately. Uh, so I guess let's go and do that. Let's well, let's go to let's go to this nullsec system here. So six tac C Z four nine. Uh, if we just click there, then that will transport us to that system. Kind of like if we just jumped gate to that system. Uh, only I think when you pop in, when we pop in here, we pop in at like a random spot or something like that. Uh, now another um, thing that is quite useful is slash copy skills. So slash copy skills, all one word. Uh, now, I think I've just done this recently, so if I do that, nothing... Oh, it says three skills successfully updated. So may maybe it did do something there. I don't know that it really did, but... Because um, if it did, normally you would see skill training completed here. Uh, and you can see, just a little while ago, I was on the test server and... Uh, huh, GM gift? I guess that's when I do the copy skills, it says GM gift. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, yeah, but that's another thing you can do. So, you know, if you've just trained something recently, like you've just trained a particular ship, say, uh, and you want to test out some fittings for it, you want to see what's going to work, what's not going to work, um, then you can, you know, go in here, copy skills so that you've got all your latest skills, and then go and test all of that sort of thing out. Um, yeah, so this is the test server. Um, I guess one more thing that I will do, I will just jump back out here uh, out of the game quickly and show you how to import your settings. So you can see here that, you know, if you've watched some of my other videos, you'll be maybe familiar with my UI, except I don't have the new thing that I've been doing, which is, uh, that'll be down here actually, the logs and messages. Now I put that up here. So, you know, we could go and do that sort of like so-ish. Yeah, um, but you can you can import your settings from Tranquility over to Singularity. Uh, and I will go and show you how to do that now. All right, 
So I have gone and deleted my main profile off of the test server uh, so that I just have the default profile available, uh, which is what you will have if you are logging into the test server for the first time. Uh, so I will go and show you here how to import your main profile. That is the profile that you use every time you log in to play the game normally. Uh, I will show you how you can import that to the test server now. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is click on these little cogs here that you see next to your username. Uh, so let's click on that. That's going to bring up this little pop up here. Uh, and you can see we have a default profile available. Uh, we're going to go here and manage our profiles. Uh, and that's going to bring up this little window here. You can see here we have source and here we have target. Now for target, we want to go and select singularity because uh, that is what we're going to want to import our profile to. Uh, now here we have our source. You want to make sure that is on tranquility. Tranquility is the main server where you go to play the game normally uh, if you're just logging into EVE and yeah, playing the normal game. Uh, now you can see here I have two profiles saved. I have the default profile and I have Rico here. Um, now if you haven't like made a custom profile, uh, I believe you can actually like edit this default profile. So if you haven't like made a specific profile yet, um, the changes that you've made in game already will be saved in this default profile. So you should be able to just copy that across. Um, but for me, I'm going to select Rico here and hit copy profile. Uh, and you can see here, now I have Rico available on Singularity. Uh, so let's go and close this. And if we go back to our little cogs here, you can see now I have Rico available. So I'm going to go and select that. And now next time I go to launch the Singularity test server, uh, I will have all of my settings imported from Tranquility, that is the main server, over on to the test server. Uh, and that's going to include my overview settings, my UI setup, um, even things like terms that I've searched on the market. So just literally all your data from uh, TQ is now imported over to CC. Uh, yeah, so that is how we copy our profiles and that is everything that you need to know about the Singularity test server. So thank you very much for watching and remember, as always, fly dangerous.